Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Denise and today I'm going to show you a coloring book I found at Walmart and it's called Let's Color Magical Kingdom. And I was flipping through the pages and I knew I just had to have it so that's why I bought it. And I'm going to show you sort of a quick flip through of it. There are over 45 intricate designs. At the bottom it says here, a meditative art therapy book. And the back looks like this. So I'm just learning about AI imagery. And so I'm thinking this is one of those AI type of color coloring books. Um, so everybody has a different opinion about that. Um, so, and the reason that I think it is AI is because I couldn't find an author like, or sorry, an illustrator listed anywhere in the book. So it's obviously just, you know, a company that has generated these pictures, but I really like these on the inside cover is a really glossy page. And I thought, Oh, that looks like a fun page to color, but it's so glossy. What what would you use to color on it? And that day at Walmart, I I bought a set of the Signo Uniball. Sorry, no, it's the other way around. Uniball Signo style pens, and it came in as a, as a set: a white, a gold, and this really lovely teal color. So I thought, oh well, let me color in some of these dots with these colors and it worked really nicely. Oh, another pen that I don't have here that was in the set was the silver. So just in case you're wondering how to color on glossy pages, the uh, Signal, the Uniball Signal pens really work well. You know, they didn't smudge or, or anything. So, Anyway, I didn't finish the page, but that's okay. That wasn't my intent. I did color the title page, the welcome page. I used some of the, uh, again, same pens. I uh, used a little bit of glitter, uh, probably stickles in the dots. And my color metallic pencils, just to kind of test out what it would look like on this title page. Let me just start flipping through here. They are single sided in the sense that all you have on the opposite page is a number. Now I like that page. Um, it's a simple, quick and easy little design to color if you're so inclined. I do, I like to color that. But if not, and you like to use your markers and worried about bleed through, I mean, you know, you probably don't mind sacrificing that side of the page. All right, so flipping through, see they're just beautiful imagery. Lots of, you know, the usual pretty girls and, and women. And that's fine, right? Like I, everybody likes coloring the beautiful girls and, and, uh, and the pretty women. Um, but what I also liked about this book and is that there are dudes in here as well. There's a lovely um, unicorn. Enchanting houses. So hang on. Okay, so the first page, I'm not sure if this is a male or female. It is a warrior. Uh, so it could be both. So it's a little bit androgynous. Beautiful setting. And that's the cover page and wallpaper style. Okay. And see a dude and his dragon. So I like that because in a lot of our coloring books, there, there aren't a lot of uh, men in it. And you know, it's nice to have that. And, and I need practice coloring skin tones uh, for both the males and the females so it's just nice for me that's why I like this book so 
So just flipping through here. More wallpaper. I'm thinking she's a, a mermaid because she's in the water. Tree houses. A unicorn. <laughs> and I always think these leaves, does that look like a marijuana leaf to you? Because it does to me. I mean, the leaf is a little bit fat. Maybe it's not a marijuana leaf, but, <laughs> you know, whatever. Oh, this is an, another page when I was flipping through that I just really liked because these look like Highland cows to me. And what do you think? I don't think they're yaks. I think they're Highland cows and they're so cute. I've always liked Highland cows. I would love to have one as a pet. <laughs> but anyway, let me know if I'm right or wrong here about these cute little cows. And here's another dude and his dragon. I look forward to coloring that. Gorgeous. A little, a baby, a fawn. And then we'll be getting to my completed page very soon. Okay, another dude and his dragon. He's got a, a cool tattoo on his bicep. I really like little houses too. This page really caught my eye. I like this elemental. I'm guessing she's a sprite. Because she's got little fangs and spites, uh, sprites are known to bite if you get in their way. She has a raven with her. Now, this could be a crow. If I'm wrong, let me know. I think it's a raven, raven because of the rounded beak. I also like the flower necklace that it's wearing and it matches the elemental as well. That'll be a really fun page to color. This one too. I thought, I just have to have this coloring book. I like the, the jewels on the, I'm assuming this is a mermaid. We just see part of her head. Looks like she's got a crown of shells, but these jewels, those are gonna be fun to color. Um, I'm hoping to make them shiny and I know the water bubbles, they kind of look like olives, <laughs> but I'm sure they're meant to be bubbles. Some stickles can help with that. And getting near the end, friends. Okay, so my completed page is on the next one. And here we go. This is the page that I completed. And yes, I had to choose a dude and his dragon. I used Color pencil crayons. And I'm just going to bring it up really close so you can see. So it's mostly the pencil crayons. And in my Color pencil set, and I have, I have the one, I'll just quickly show you. I have... <laughs> because I'm kind of a maniac. Uh, I have the 300 piece set of the Color Pencil crayons. It came in this huge tin. So I, the crayons aren't in there right now because of course that, that would be really heavy. And I've dedicated a whole counter in my kitchen to lay out all of the trays for all of the pencils so I can see them all at once. I really like the set. And in there, when you get, if you are interested and in get the 300 set, um, there is a, um, a red pencil called Bloody Red that's in the set. Uh, I know that sounds gross, Bloody Red, <laughs> but it's a gorgeous deep red color. And that is what I used for the background. And it wasn't difficult at all. It was very smooth and soft. And I just sort of 
laid down that color with a heavy hand and I got a very dramatic look to this to this page and for the eyes I used the jelly roll glaze and this is the black it's a stunning it's a stunning uh product it really is now it might not stand out quite in the video like it does in real life but I always color in the pupils with that black glaze and then I used it uh, to use it on the trim for the dude's armor. So on his shoulder pad and his, his uh, what do you call that? The gauntlet? Gauntlet? <laughs> anyway, on his glove, the upper part of his forearm here. Also used uh, a little bit of Jelly Roll Stardust Glitter. And I used that just on the tendrils of the dragon. And on the opposite page, because I don't like to leave things too blank, I colored in the number. I used the, the black, the same black glaze, a jelly roll pen for to accent the number and the other. I, you know, the other places on the number. And then I put a border of glitter washi tape just to finish that off. There, I think that's all I can say about that page. I can't wait to do some more. And then these are the last two pages. And there's the back cover in case or the inside back cover in case you're interested. So there it is. Thank you for watching my video. Please come back again. See you soon. Bye-bye.